they've waged a war that they can't contain. They've waged a war that they can't sustain. The Lord your God is fighting those who are trying to fight against you. The Lord is contending with those who are trying to contend against you. He's in this race of shield and buckler, and he's coming to your defense. They waged a war, beloved. I know that, yes, I know that they're always, they're always waging war and everything. But what I'm saying here right now is something you need to pay, you need to pay keen attention to, pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you right now. They declared a war in the spirit, in their heart, in their head, in the space. Because they can't come to you physically to attack you. They've tried to come physically to attack you. They realize that mm, they can't do that. And they said, well, since most battles are spiritual battles, oh yes, because, you know, we've wrestled against flesh and blood, blood but against principles and powers and place high places. But I didn't insist, and those wicked, and those principles and powers and place high places, they were trying to wage war against the spirit. And God is saying, I know they can't wage war against the spirit because you have no fault. They carried your name to an altar to pray against you. They spoke your name in the spirits and saying, that you're going to see, that they're gonna deal with you. I don't know whatever they did, whatever where they were that they did. Listen, beloved, no one can destroy you when it's not your time. No one can destroy you when it's not your time. The Lord your God has fortified you. You're not walking all by yourself. You are not all by yourself. You've got the spirit of God in you. You've got Christ that has already paid the price for you. You've got the angels of God that have been protecting you, beloved. The worst thing that they can ever do is to come towards you spiritually to attack you. Waging war that they know. <laughs> that lesson that they can't prevail, that they can't win. They just wage a war and they have no idea that they can't win that war. They are afraid to come to you physically and they went spiritual. They've actually went, they actually went spiritual. They've gone spiritual. But that should not bother you. That should not trigger you in any way. The Lord your God said he shall fight for you, shall hold your peace. It's love for 14. He shall fight for you, shall hold your peace. Whatever it is that they've done against you in the spirit. To put you in harm's ways, beloved. The Lord is saying that, listen, don't worry, for vengeance is his, he shall repay. Because at the end of the day, it's not even you that is trying to fight. It's, you can't even fight them, beloved. God is the one that is fighting for you and you hold your peace. He's going to avenge. God is avenging. God's going to about to avenge anyone that has been going on behind to create situations which will wage that war against you. The Lord is encouraging someone to put on the whole armor. Put on your armor this season. Hallelujah. They'll be laughing with you, but they've got something on the got something behind the scenes. But God is avenging this on your behalf. Romans 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said a lot of hosts. The Lord is decreeing and saying to someone this moment that vengeance, vengeance is he. He's going to repay. He's going to fight your battles. Avenge not. Even though you've seen what they've done against you, even though you've seen the war that they've, that they've waged against the spirit, you've already conquered. You've overcome the world, beloved. You've overcome the world. There's nothing they can do this season that shall target you in the much. I know that I've, I've been saying about this over and over, but this one really got into my spirit like... Like, 
I was, I was, I was just like, like just so emotional because God, like, I, I could see it clearly. I could see it clearly. I could feel it clearly. I could, on, I understand this. I understand what's going on in the spirit. But the Lord said, "I don't avenge anything. Allow them. Just allow them. And watch." Just watch what's going to be happening. They waged a war against you. Thinking that you're not going to see it. Thinking that you're not going to understand it. Thinking that you're not going to feel it. But God has got you the grace to see it, to understand it, to feel it. They are headed for doom. They are, they are headed for doom in the name of Jesus. The Lord your God is fighting for you to hold your peace. The war that they have waged against their spirit, beloved, they will not be able to contain it. They will not be able to withstand it because they've just provoked the armies of God. They've just made God to unleash his armies in their spirit against them. They shall have nowhere to hide. They shall be nowhere to hide. They shall be nowhere to hide because, listen, they have really provoked heaven when it comes to you. They've provoked heaven when it comes to you. It's like... Sometimes they look at you, they underestimate the power that you've got. They underestimate your connection with God. Most of them have underestimated your connection with God to them. You have no connection with God, but they shall see. They shall know. They shall hear that you're not ordinary. You're not ordinary. You came prepared. You know the God whom you serve. And He shall spare none of them. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See you next video.